Hello AACPS staff and welcome to a video on changing sharing permissions in Google Drive. If you have a file or folder and you no longer want it to be shared, you can change permissions. Why might you need to change the permissions? Well, it's possible that a person has moved on. They're no longer in your office or in your department or the student is no longer a member of your class and you essentially want to revoke their permissions to access this file or folder. This is also a great option if the information contained in a file is outdated and you are concerned that people will access it and think that it is still current. Maybe a calendar of events from last school year and it might be linked on a website and you're concerned that parents will open it and think that it is current for this school year. So by changing the permissions you can ensure that nobody finds that document and thinks that it is current information when it is in fact outdated. So changing permissions on a file or folder is basically the same as sharing it to begin with. You want to locate it here in your Google Drive and select it, and then you're going to navigate to the share menu here in the upper right hand corner. If the file was shared with individuals by inviting them, you can click the drop down over here where it says the permissions, and then you simply choose remove to revoke the access that that user had on this particular file and then click Save. The other option in the Share menu, if you had shared the file with a link down here, if you click on the blue just underneath of the option to get a link, you can click the drop down where it says it is currently set to share with anyone in AACPS and you can set it to restricted. If anybody stumbles upon this link and clicks on it, they will get a message that they don't have permission to view the file and hopefully they would reach out to you and notify you that you had a link out there that wasn't working properly, allowing you the opportunity to take this down.